If you want to free up storage on your iPhone so you can take more photos and videos, you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you how you can do it with this product right here from SanDisk. It's the iExpand Flash Drive Go. And if you have an iPhone 15, I got another one, the SanDisk Dual Drive Lux USB Type-C. Super simple, easy way, folks. Basically, you plug this thumb drive in, transfer the files, then you plug it into your laptop, take all of those files, and then just drag it like we used to do with those old thumb drives. So let me show you how you can transfer and move files off your iPhone. So we're gonna show you two different types of iPhones because they have switched the ports. You have the old lightning port. So we have the iExpand flash drive there. Or if you have a USB-C port with the iPhone 15, well, we have one for you as well. For this example, we're gonna start with the lightning connection. We're gonna show you with the iExpand flash drive how it works for older iPhones. Essentially, you plug it into the bottom. Then it's gonna ask you to download the SanDisk iExpand Drive app from the App Store. So you download that, and then you're gonna open up the app itself. And this app is really nicely organized in a way to help you move that files. It'll show you how much available storage you have both on your iPhone and on your thumb drive. You can copy photos from your iPhone or copy files from your uh, expand drive. In this case, I'm taking these video files from my iPhone and I wanna move them onto my computer. So I'm selecting them and then I'm gonna select a folder inside of that thumb drive. And in this case, I'm gonna create a separate folder just for this footage. It was a bunch of Apple products that I was unboxing. So I'll call that folder Apple Unboxing. And I highly recommend you create folders to organize all of your media as you're moving it onto your laptop. Here are all the files. They're now copying onto that little thumb drive. Once that's done, this is how simple it is, folks. You basically take that thumb drive. Remember this? We used to do this all the time. Flip this around to the USB-A and then connect that to your laptop. In this case, I'm connecting it to a hub that is connected to my laptop. Now, when I go to my laptop, the MacBook Pro in this case, you can see I can see that flash drive and I can see that folder that was created with the Apple footage and I just drag it over and just like that, I have now backed up all those files. If you have an iPhone 15, you're gonna to wanna to use this one from SanDisk. This is the USB-C type, but it, from what I can tell, it doesn't have a dedicated app, but there's still a way to do it. You treat it just like a dedicated thumb drive. Here, I'm taking all the files that I want to move over. I'm selecting them. Then I'm gonna to go to Export Unmodified Originals, and then I'm gonna select that thumb drive in the locations. I've already named the thumb drive iPhone 15. I've had a folder. Here's my test video to make sure I had it working. And now I want to save it to get the rest of those files. And now it's copying onto that thumb drive, all those files from the iPhone onto that thumb drive. Once that copy is complete, again, it is super simple. You basically take the thumb drive out, go to your laptop and then plug it in. In this case, my hub has a dedicated USB-C port. So I already plugged it into there. And then on my laptop, that that file, that folder is gonna be available. And I just take that iPhone 15 footage. Here's everything that was on my iPhone 15. I'm gonna select copy all and then drag it onto my laptop. You can from here, move it onto an external drive, back up all the media, all those photos and videos that you've been taking. Maybe once a year you do this whenever you need to free up storage. That way you have your media, you have it organized, you could upload it to the cloud to say something like Amazon Photos, where you have like unlimited uh, storage there. And then you're gonna be able to take more photos with your iPhone without getting additional cloud storage. The only caveat with this is that you don't have that cloud storage, so look at that media, but at least you have a backup and and it's a very efficient way to back up large files and free up storage on your iPhone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tips and tricks from your boy, Handy Andy. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Handy Andy Media is where you can find me at Handy Andy Media on YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time.